Hi guys, my name is Chris and this is my friend Jessica! Hi! And I'm happy to welcome you to the sixth episode of Faith at Home in partnership with Oak National Academy. Today we're going to be talking all about resilience. What is resilience, Chris? Well, if you are resilient, it means that you can recover quickly from a difficulty. Hmm, okay, I think I get it, but it's a big word and it seems like it has a big meaning too. It's a bit of a tough one to explain. Let me see if I can show you what resilience means with a fun scientific experiment. Ah, here we go. Is that... Spaghetti? Yes, it's very scientific spaghetti, Jessica. Now, let's take a look at this uncooked spaghetti. It looks pretty resilient, right? Like it can overcome a lot of difficulty. It doesn't wobble around, but let's see how resilient it really is. Let's do some tests. I guess it wasn't that resilient. That spaghetti doesn't look like it's recovering anytime soon. Yeah, it doesn't seem so. But let's try again with a bit of cooked spaghetti. Oh, well that doesn't look very tough or resilient at all. It's all wobbly. But look, when we do the same test, it springs back. It's pretty resilient. So I guess that shows that when we feel weak, a bit like wibbly wobbly spaghetti, it doesn't mean that we can't be strong, that we can't be resilient. Exactly. When we feel small and wobbly, we can look to others to help us be strong and resilient. For example, Christians can look to God and he can give them the strength and the power to be resilient. That's amazing! Well, I think I know what resilience is now. What do you guys think resilience is? And what does it mean to you? We've asked some students from Avanti House Primary School, a Hindu school in London, to tell us what they think it means. Resilience to me means to keep trying. And getting back up when I've been knocked down. Not letting your difficulties get in your way and fighting for what you want to achieve in life. Resilience to me means bouncing back as quickly as possible. Resilience is like being a rubber band. Stretchable and flexible when needed, quickly bouncing back to normal. The main step in becoming resilient is learning to let go mentally. If you learn to let go mentally, it makes it easier to concentrate on the task that has been set. Resilience means persevering and never giving up. You may find something tough or someone hurts you, but you don't let that get you down. Keep on going, always believe in yourself. Yes, you guys are all so amazing and you know so much about what resilience means. We've got someone else on our show today to talk to us about what resilience means to them. Pradip Gujar is here to share with us now. Resilience for me is something that comes from deep within our heart. In the Hindu Vaishnav tradition, and especially in the 5,000 year old Bhagavad Gita, the word for faith in God is Shraddha. Sitting within this word, is the word rid, which means heart. Faith is therefore where we place our heart. So here's how I think of resilience. Resilience can only be as strong as that place where we have given our heart. If we have given our heart at the feet of God, who is the source of all strength, then imagine the resilience we can experience to bounce back and to battle the reversals and accept both the joys and pains of life as the grace of God in our life. In the pages of the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna reminds us that He is seated in our heart as a dear friend and He declares, I preserve what you have and I carry what you lack. Faith in God, therefore, makes resilience a heartfelt experience. Wow, thank you so much for that, Pradeep. It's so amazing to talk to people about resilience. It's a word that we seem to hear a lot, 
but it only becomes real when we hear about other people's experiences and understandings of it. That is so true, Jessica. And there are loads of ways to express your understanding of resilience. For example, Fishy Music have written this song called Stronger, which really shows what resilience is all about. Yeah, it's pretty catchy. And now we've definitely covered what resilience is all about. But how can we be resilient? <laughs> oh yeah, there's no point in just singing or talking about it. How can I actually be resilient? Help Chris, I don't want to just snap like uncooked spaghetti. Let's ask our friends at HeartSmart. Hello and welcome to Boris's Shed. We, we love having you here, don't we Boris? We love it. We absolutely love it. What have you been up to today, Boris? Well, today I have been learning lots of new things. Oh yeah, what's that? My brain is always adapting. I can't stop thinking and doing new things. That's so good. You know, our brains, just although our brains are different from robot brains, our brains are always growing and adapting, just like a muscle. The more we work it, the more they begin to grow. Isn't that amazing, Boris? Yes, it is amazing what you can do. It really is. But Dave, mm -hmm. there is one thing I think that I can never do. Oh, what's that, Boris? I'm a bit embarrassed to say. Oh, you can tell us. Jigsaw puzzles. Oh, Boris, why do you think you can't do jigsaw puzzles? I've always thought I can't do them. So interesting. It's so interesting how if we think we can't do something, we actually often giving up, give up and actually don't end up doing it. Isn't that right? Yes, I have found that to be true. See, one of the most important things that we can learn, if we're going to be resilient, if we're going to keep trying to do something, is actually to believe, you know what, even though I'm finding this hard, even if it's jigsaw puzzles or maths or whether it's doing some form of exercise, even if we find it hard, the more we do it, the more that muscle begins to grow in our brain and actually the easier it begins to become. And actually, that is what we call growth mindset. And robots and humans both have brains that are built for that. It means that even though we find something hard, we can keep pushing and if we just keep pushing we'll be able to do it. But the first thing we need to know is that actually, ultimately, we can do it. We just haven't done it yet and that's what's different. See, for jigsaw puzzles, Boris, I'm sure you can do jigsaw puzzles. What do you guys think at home? Do you think Boris can do jigsaw puzzles? What do you think, Boris? Do you think you could be able to give it a go? You are so kind to say that. I feel encouraged to try. That's so good. You know, resilience is such an important thing. And actually, one of the things that we need to have before we can try it in our head, we need to have hope in our heart. So may today you have hope and may you be able to begin to see the things that you don't think are possible, that actually, if you just keep trying, keep trying, you never know, those things might begin to open up. And I think Boris, you and I should try and do a jigsaw puzzle right now. What do you think? Okay, Dave, let's do it. guys really are great. I feel like I can be resilient now. I think you can. I think I can. I think we all can. And if you ever feel like you need a bit of help from God, you can remember this verse from the Bible. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Christians believe that even when you feel as wobbled about as a piece of cooked spaghetti, that God is the one that can give you the strength and the resilience so that when you're oppressed, you're not crushed. When you're knocked down by life, you're never destroyed because he is with you. We hope you've enjoyed our show about resilience today. If you're a school leader and you've enjoyed today's episode, then we've got some great news for you. Each week, alongside every Faith at Home film, there are a bunch of fantastic resources to download for schools to use. 
Go to the Faith at Home pages to find them all for every theme of the week. Stay safe, guys. We'll see you next week.